Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Star Maiden Nuit and Flute Works, and today we are taking a look at the Kaldari Ibis. I am going to be giving you a tour of the ship, but at the same time I'm going to be discussing lots of stuff. So uh, this is more of a news video than uh, a Nuit and Flute Works video. Um, so yeah, we're going to get right into it and uh, start discussing things that need to be discussed. Like, where I've been for the past week. Um, basically, I got sick. I got super sick. Not not super, super, like, cancer sick, but, like, I got I got pretty sick. Um, some sort of throat infection? I don't know. It sounds kind of gross. It is gross, actually. Um, I was coughing a lot, and I slept for quite literally three days straight. I just literally... I got up. I had, like, a single animal cracker. Yes, I eat those. Um, and then I kind of just went back to bed. <laughs> like, that's what... Three days of a week last week consisted of. So uh, it was pretty bad, but I'm feeling better now, which means that I can uh, post videos. Uh, I decided to take the week off, sort of, from posting videos. Even the process of making a video and posting it was just too much for me to handle at the time. I just, I did not want to deal with it, and it was, it was weird. Um, so I'm back, and I'm uh, here to change things up a bit, like my schedule. Uh, if you didn't know, I do have a schedule. I do post videos on certain days of the week. Um, that being said, it's entirely possible I post them a day late, based on your time zone and all that, because I post videos incredibly late at night sometimes, and that doesn't work in my favor. I don't think it does, at least. So, um, yeah. Uh, I want to tell you my schedule real quick before we move on into other subjects. Um, Sundays, we have the New Eden Fluid Works release. It will be the only day that you have a release, and it's entirely possible that from here on out I will not be releasing ships as often, and I'll tell you that, tell you why in a few minutes. Um, and then uh, also on Sundays we have special videos. Special videos are no particular videos. You you probably won't be able to guess which video it will be. It's and it doesn't even uh, necessarily have to be posted. It's just you know if I play a random game that I've only recorded one video for or something, uh, special news videos, um, stuff like that, updates, kind of like what I'm doing now, those will be posted on Sundays as well. So I'm a little bit late with this video, as well as um, the, the New Eden Fleet Works release, that should have been posted yesterday, but uh, I was still sick yesterday, sort of, and I didn't want to deal with this, because <laughs> posting uh, a release video is one of the hardest videos to get out, because of, you know, the cinematic effects and stuff. So, um, there's that. Um, I'm also thinking of doing an Armada news video. I don't know yet. That's something for the future to, you know, tell me. I, I don't know if it's necessary to post Armada news video. Uh, you guys may be wondering why I would do that in the first place. Well, frankly, it's because, well, I'll, I'll get into that in a few minutes when I actually talk about Armada stuff. So, uh, hold on for that. Um, I gotta continue with the schedule. On Mondays, you can expect a new Fleet Work video, a Homeworld video, and an Evolve video. Evolve is not a popular series on my channel, so that that stuff will be going away eventually. I mean, I, I play the game, I like it. I'll probably uh, end it once I reach a video where I showcase the Wraith, because the Wraith is fucking cool, and I love it. It's, like, straight up badass. Anyway, uh, Tuesdays, City Skylines, a new series that I posted only one video for last week, which was terrible because of the whole sickness ordeal. Um, Alien Isolation and Assassin's Creed Unity. Of course, I am still playing those two games. Alien Isolation is fucking fun as shit because I am just getting terrified of this alien. It's finally coming after me, uh, and it's just, oh, it's so fun. Um, and then we have uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, as you uh, may or may not care about. Most likely, you do not care about it. Uh, Wednesdays, we have Star Made Reviews, Evolve, and Homeworld. Star Made Reviews are basically going to replace Star Made Station Reviews that I do. Um, they're not going to replace it, it's just that I'm going to expand the reviews to not only stations, but uh, spaceships. Uh, I will go into more uh, into this, I will go more into this uh, and what. I plan on doing with that series and how I'm going to change it in the future um, when I get to finishing the station reviews for the contest that was posted like months ago. Uh, yes, literally months ago. So I do apologize for that, but um, stay tuned for news on that because I will be doing reviews. 
I will not take submissions, that is all I'm saying about that right now, and again, I will cover more information on it when I get to it. Um, Thursdays, Assassin's Creed Unity, City Skylines, and Alien Isolation. Uh, Fridays is another New Eden Fleetworks uh, video, Homeworld, and Evolve. And Saturdays is Alien Isolation, Assassin's Creed Unity, and City Skylines. When I am done with Evolve, expect possibly another series to take its place. I have no idea what that series will be, but it's entirely possible that's what will happen. I'm planning on posting three videos a day. I don't know how possible that is. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's what you can expect from uh, my channel from here on out, hopefully. I don't know how much I'll be able to keep up with my own scheduling. Um, let's jump into here. Look at this. It's a little bed. It has a glass window because the uh, the Kaldari beds have like this little glass pane that slides down over the bed. It's kind of cool. I think it's neat. I don't really think I've seen anyone do that before, but um, well, maybe, but like not with a bed, more like with a cryo tube or something. We also have a big monitor here. I'm not sure how much this fits inside the ship. It's kind of, it feels out of place just having a couch and a monitor and a TV. Maybe chairs would be better, but I'm not sure. This room feels very open. This whole ship has tons of space. Um, so, New Eden Fleetwork news. I am only posting of a, two of these videos from now on a week. And the reason I'm doing that is because I keep making like promises to you guys about working on specific ships. And I never really actually continue and follow through with those promises in a reasonable amount of time. Which is pretty shitty of me, I think. Um, basically, uh, like, recently I said that I was going to work on a T3 cruiser for the Minmatar. Well, I've hardly touched that thing since I said I was going to work on it. Um, I think I've got still half of one of the models wireframed, which is not very good at all in terms of progress. Um, so that's pretty bad of me in my opinion, so I'm going to stop doing that. I am only going to post a New Eden Fleetworks video when I have something to actually reveal to you, when I have something done, some progress that has been made, uh, something that is worth showing you guys. I think that's the best, uh, idea, I think that's the best thing I could possibly do. Um, so yeah, expect only two of those videos a week at the most, um, which has actually been kind of what I've been posting recently anyway. Uh, let's see what else. We have um, a big ship that I'm working on. It is Kaldari. You possibly have seen it in the past. You have probably seen it if you watched my live streams, and chances are some of you are going to say something about what it is in the comments below. I will delete those comments if you actually say what ship it is. Um, so you can guess, but I don't want it to be a spoil, uh, I don't want it to be spoiled for anyone else that doesn't know or won't know. It is the biggest ship that I have ever worked on. It is much bigger by a factor of like, let me think. Five or so, a factor of five. That it's that much bigger than the Dragoon, and the Dragoon is like 200 some odd meters long. So that's pretty big. That is pretty big, um, and it will be a crazy huge, amazing Kaldari ship. And you guys are gonna freaking love it. I'm not revealing which one it is. Chances are you guys know what it is, but I'm not. Just. Just, just keep it a secret with me. It's gonna be fucking awesome, and I hope you guys are excited for it, because I am. I am working non-stop on it, pretty much. Um, and it's taking so long just to detail the exterior of it, that it's... <laughs> like, I... I... It's been, like, a few weeks since I've do gotten the wireframe done. It's been about two weeks. And I still am detailing the exterior of it. It's taking so long. So uh, that's pretty fun, and I cannot wait to get on with that. Um, I'm also experimenting with personal ship designs. Not so much. I thought I was going to do it a little bit more than I was, like, a few days ago. But, nah, I don't know. I'm much better at just making these ships, and I'm much better at taking a gray blob and turning it into something quite nice looking. Um, and in case you're wondering, uh, yeah, I pretty much just toured the entire Ibis. Right now I'm inside the, um, the what you call it. What is this? I forgot what this is. Oh, this is where I put the, all the modules. So we have the lar uh, medium slot modules here, and the low ones go there. And uh, I'll fill those cubes in so that you know where those go in the future. Um, <clears throat> what else? What else? Uh, oof. 
the Armada. The YouTube Armada conversion is almost done, and you probably have noticed that if you watch any of my other videos. The last videos that I have to take care of are the Star Made videos, pretty much, and uh, I do want to do an Assassin's Creed Armada conversion. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my Evolve, my Alien Isolation, or my Homeworld videos. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about as soon as the video starts. Um, it's basically just a rebranding of the channel to the Armada. Uh, and then after that, Twitch will be next, and you'll be seeing an amazing update to my Twitch streams, and hopefully I'll be t streaming more often. Um, chances are I'll be streaming stuff other than gameplay more often as well, things like uh, design work. And the reason I'll be doing that is because I may be taking on some graphic design work from a friend that I've met through Twitch, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't actually know um, what you know any of that entails because I've never really taken on freelance graphic design work, and I'm kind of intimidated. But uh, hopefully uh, this guy can help me out, get me started, and uh, I'll be uh, professionally on my way as a graphic designer, which would be pretty cool. Um, not that it's exactly what I want to do with my life, but it is it is nice. And it does seem like I can work on things that I want to work on, which is something that I always want to do, because I freaking hate doing graphic design work for like other people. And like, like I get to sort of pick what I want to do with this if I'm doing it freelance. So, there's that. Um, Back to the Armada talk, um, there are four members of the Armada, it is still nothing official. Um, there are plans to talk to many more people to incorporate them into the Armada from Twitch to YouTube. I have lined up like 10 people that I need to talk to, I've already talked to a few, some of them have accepted, some of them have declined. And um, there are uh, again plans to go over uh, qualifications that need to be met in order to uh, be a part of the Armada. There are reasons for that, and it's taking so fucking long to get there, but there will be videos covering those qualifications and everything that you need to know if you want to be a part of it in the future. Um, so I'm sorry if it's taking so long. Being sick definitely did not help, but um, I hope to get back on track uh, as fast as I can. Uh, and there may be, maybe, plans for an Armada channel in the future. I really don't know. Uh, here's the thing. I've always wanted to do, you know, group videos with friends, and I, I don't really do that at all, <laughs> if you've noticed. I mean, you'll find me in somebody else's video. Once in a while, you'll find me in Raven's video or Saber's video. Sometimes Starside as well, depending on what we're doing. And I'll be featured in their videos in the future as well. But I never record with other people, and it sucks. Um, my one funniest friend right now does not want to film with me, and it fucking sucks. Because, like, I'm playing The Last of Us on their PS4 at their house, and it's just the funniest goddamn thing that I've ever done in a game. Like, just playing this game and having them talk in the background, because they don't even want to play the games. They just want to fucking watch stuff happen on screen and they just comment and it's the funniest goddamn stuff and they don't want to film with me and it infuriates the shit out of me so i don't know uh, if an armada news or channel will ever be a thing because if it is it'll be f it will have to feature other people there's no way in hell i would make uh the armada channel and have it just be me but oh my god if i could I feel like my channel would honestly be somewhere else. It'd be much more popular, you guys would be watching much more of my series if I incorporated other people. Tell me what you think about that. Tell me what you think about a lot of things. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think that's about it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Of course, more information uh, about the Armada will come out in the future when I get close to, you know, fully... Uh, investing my time with all of its members and all of that stuff and you know getting everybody uh, organized so thank you for watching this video subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more of my spaceships uh, because that's what I do spaceships um, that's all I've got to say I think um, I really don't know what else I'll be doing uh, in terms of star mate or anything else aside from that big ship that I 
uh, I'm trying to keep a secret that I'm kind of revealing to you anyway. So, thank you again. Leave your feedback here or elsewhere, I guess, and I will see you all next time. video than uh, uh, a New Eden Fleabrook's video. Um, so yeah, we're going to get right into it and uh, start discussing things that need to be discussed, like where I've been for the past week. Um, basically, I got sick. I got super sick. Not not super, super, like, cancer sick, but like, I got, I got pretty sick. Um, some sort of... Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Star Maid New Eden Flea Works and today we are taking a look at the Kaldari Ibis. I'm going to be giving you a tour of the ship but at the same time I'm going to be discussing lots of stuff. So uh, this is more of a... that's what three days of a week last week consisted of. So uh, it was pretty bad but I'm feeling better now which means that I can uh, post videos. Uh, I decided to take the week off, sort of, from posting videos. Even the process of making a video and posting it was just too much for me to handle at the time. I just, I did not want throat infection. I don't know. It sounds kind of gross. It is gross, actually. Um, I was coughing a lot, and I slept for quite literally three days straight. I just literally, I got up, I had, like, a single animal cracker. Yes, I eat those. Um, and then I kind of just went back to bed. I <laughs> to deal with it, and it was... It was weird. Um, so I'm back and I'm uh, here to change things up a bit, like my schedule. Uh, if you didn't know, I do have a schedule. I do post videos on certain days of the week. Um, that being said, it's entirely possible I post them a day late. 